Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everybody My name is Afifa Givari Putri Setiawan And I am from 10 Science 4 Now I want to tell you about a story With the title is Pinocchio Here is the story begin Please enjoy Once upon a time there was an old carpenter called Chipitu. He lived in a forest alone. He always dreamed about having a son. One day, he had an idea. He decided to make a new puppet from a pieces of wood. For several hours, finally, he finished making the puppet and named him Pinocchio. However, he felt lonely again because Pinocchio couldn't talk or walk by himself. I wish that this puppet was real, said Chepetu. In the next morning, Chepetu was surprised. The puppet turned alive. Pinocchio jumped off the table. Hi, father, said Pinocchio. Chepetu was very happy at that time. So he taught him how to walk, how to read, how to speak and to do other things as human. One day, Geppetto sold his jacket to buy a new book for Pinocchio. Here is your book. Now you can go to school like a real boy, said Geppetto. Oh, thank you, Dad! On his way to school, he heard a string music. He realized that the sound came from the tent of a puppet soul. Pinocchio then sold his book and bought a ticket to get into the soul tent. Pinocchio said, It is easy, I can do better than that. Then Pinocchio jumped to the stage and started to dance. The crowd liked him. Even there were more people came to his stage. And then the puppet master gave him five gold coins. After that, Pinocchio went home with smile in his face. But he didn't go to school. In the middle of his way to home, he met a cat and a fox. Hello boy, I have a secret for you. I can double your gold coins if you want said the fox. Oh, really? How can it become much more than this? That is so easy. You can put it under the magic tree and wait until it grows, said the cat. Then Pinocchio put his gold coins in front of the tree and slept there. When Pinocchio asleep, they took all the money and hanging Pinocchio on a tree. Few hours later, he woke up, but he found his body hung on the tree. So he started to cry. The next day, a lady looked him from her cottage window. She saw Pinocchio hanging on the tree. She clapped her hands three times. And a large bird flew down the cottage. The lady was actually a fairy, and she had a magical power. She ordered the bird to cut the rope and bring Pinocchio to her. Boy, did you go to school today? Asked the fairy. Yes, I did. Actually, she knew that Pinocchio didn't go to school, so his nose became longer. Then the fairy asked to Pinocchio again and again, but Pinocchio still said a lie, and his nose became longer and longer until he couldn't walk easily. He was crying. Don't lie to me, boy, because every time you lie, your nose will become longer. Then Pinocchio told her that he won't lie again, so she released her magic to make his nose normal again. After that, 
Pinocchio went home again. When he arrived at the shore, he saw Geppetto in a small boat in the middle of the sea. Hi, father! Pinocchio waving his hands to Geppetto. Suddenly, a huge wave made the boat disappear. Immediately, Pinocchio dove into the water to save Geppetto. Pinocchio swam hard, but he was swallowed by a huge whale. It was dark inside the whale. Help me! Where am I? He said in tears. Suddenly, he saw a faint light in the distance. As he got closer, he saw a candle and an old man sitting at a table. Pinocchio was surprised. Oh, father, finally I found you. Pinocchio hugged Geppetto. I'm sorry, dad. Now I will always do what you say. Geppetto couldn't believe it was Pinocchio. They talked about their travels and adventures. Geppetto explained that they were in the stomach of a huge whale. Geppetto took Pinocchio by the hand and said, While this candle can still give us light, let's explore inside this whale and see what we can find. They were in the stomach of a huge whale for many months. A lot of different kinds of food and drinks had also been swallowed by the whale, so they were able to survive. One day, when the whale was sleeping, Pinocchio said, Let's escape. The whale is asleep and the sea is calm. Then they crossed the whale's tongue and jumped over its teeth. Geppetto held on to Pinocchio's neck as he swam away from the whale. Many days passed before he finally reached the shore, and they walked together to their house. Pinocchio became a very clever boy after that day and always listened to his father. The fairy saw what a nice Pinocchio became and decided to give him a prize. One night, when Pinocchio was sleeping, she came next to his bed and cast a spell on him. In the morning, Pinocchio woke up to get ready for school. But he realized that something was different. He was soft. He was not made of wood anymore. He was a normal boy at last. Geppetto was very happy. In the end, Pinocchio never lied again and his nose always stayed where it was. The moral value of the story about Pinocchio is we are taught not to lie in order to become a better person and obedient to parents. Hmm, okay, maybe that's all the story of Pinocchio. Thank you for your nice attention. Goodbye. See you again. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.